let's take a look at manufacturing operations. Manufacturing operations can be classified according to the amount of processing or assembly that occurs after a customer order is received. The highest degree of processing occurs in make-to-order operations. A make-to-order operation does not start processing or assembling products until it receives a customer order. A moderate degree of processing occurs in assemble-to-order operations. A company using an assemble-to-order operation divides its manufacturing or assembly processes into separate parts or modules. The company orders parts and assembles modules ahead of customer orders. Then, based on actual customer orders or on research forecasting what customers will want, the modules are combined to create semi-customized products. The lowest degree of processing occurs in make-to-stock operations, also called because the products are standardized, meaning that each is exactly the same as the next, a company using a make-to-stock operation starts ordering parts and assembling finished products before receiving customer orders. A second way to categorize manufacturing operations is by manufacturing flexibility, meaning the degree to which manufacturing operations can easily and quickly change the number, kind, and characteristics of products it produces. Flexibility allows companies to respond quickly to changes in the marketplace, that is, in response to competitors and customers, and to reduce the lead time between ordering and final delivery of products. By contrast, in a continuous flow production, products are produced continuously rather than at a discrete rate. Like a water hose that's never turned off and just keeps flowing, production of the final product never stops. Line flow production processes are pre-established, occur in serial or linear manner, and are dedicated to making one type of product. The next and most flexible manufacturing operation is batch production, which involves the manufacture of large batches of different products in standardized lot sizes. Next in terms of flexibility is the job shop. Job shops are typically small manufacturing operations that handle special manufacturing processes or jobs. In contrast to batch production, which handles large batches of different products, job shops typically handle very small batches, some as small as one product or process per batch.